Hey guys, what's up? Rayo here, and I'm bringing you a guide on how to do your weekly Black Lion chess key farm. Uh, just to let you guys know that I had audio lined up for this video, but um, it whenever I uploaded the actual clips with the audio into my video editing software, it just like it just misaligned, and I mean I play it back on my regular like just like video view or whatever comes with the windows and everything's lined up fine but just when I put it in the actual software for some reason it just plays back misaligned and it's only with this footage it's not with like like regular footage so it's just a problem that I had to sort out and I really didn't want it to prevent me from posting this video so um, I'm gonna just talk over the footage so uh, without further ado let's just get right into it uh, you can see right here I am uh, over the character select screen. You can choose any of the races, honestly, but the quickest I've found, and I think most people will agree, is human. So I'm going to go with human. Gender doesn't matter. Um, uh, profession kind of does. You know, um, I choose Revenant uh, just because it uh, it has good cleaves and all that stuff. I, I use Condi Revenant, though, for, I don't know, Condi... I, it's just fun to mess around with. Uh, Thief would definitely be good. Guard is good because of the staff and everything. Uh, but yeah, you can ultimately use what you want to use. But I would recommend one of those three. Uh, how your character looks does not matter except to me because I want to make sure I'm looking cool at all times. So um, this guy may not look cool to you, but he looks cool to me. So we're going to go with that. Uh, what you... This part of the story doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. This is what matters. How you were raised. Um, in the streets is going to be the longest of them. By common folk is the one you want to go with. And that's what this footage is going to have. Um, this is the footage that's going to be with this video. of Among the nobility, I think it's really around the same time. Um, the fight at the end is with a champ. Where by common folks with a veteran. I just recommend going with by common folk just because uh, it's quicker. Uh, your name, just put whatever you want. I just do Rayo Key Farm. Uh, and what's cool with that is you can just um, use the same name every single week because if you delete your character afterwards, the name also goes out of the system with it. So you can do that. Um, so you can see in my inventory, uh, I already have like my tomes and some gear that I made. I made level 10 gear. Um, this is the way I do it. Um, so really before I explain that, I'm just going to explain this part because I don't want to miss it. Uh, right here, you see I'm skipping the uh, story recommendation to go towards the garrison. I'm actually going around the garrison. I'm going straight to the boss. So what this will allow me to do is just pretty much... <laughs> mooch off of other people's work. That's pretty much what it, what it is. But, I mean, uh, there's really no point if you can just, if the boss is already up, just go for it. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting a few extra minutes. Um, so, now, uh, we're at mission one. Uh, this is really just, um, I don't know, really, at this point, you're just following the mission. So, uh, while this is playing in the background, I'm just going to kind of talk um, there is just a few, uh, things that I would recommend when doing this. When I had my screen open earlier, you saw my Tomes and Knowledge, and I had level 10 gear. Uh, so, the level 10 gear, don't be fooled, what I'm wearing is level 10 gear. I just transmuted it because, once again, I want my character to look sweet, because I do this often. Um, your level 10 gear is... Not, it's not a bad idea. It can give you a little bit of boost, a little bit of, um, a little bit of edge, I guess, to help with all these fights. You're going to be fighting bandits in every single section of this story, so you should just. Well, you don't. I don't, I don't want to say you have to, but I mean, a little bit of boost is not going to hurt, and it's a cheap set to provide. And if you do it often enough, you're going to get plenty of use out of it. So it's not a wasted investment. Um. So consider that. Um. Another thing that I would recommend if you have them is using your tomes of knowledge. If you already have plenty of level 80, level 80 characters, then by all means just burn through them. Um, I have so many left over from PvP reward tracks, world versus world reward tracks. Um, 
even though I don't even really world versus world a lot. I do. I got most of mine from PvP and login rewards. Um, but yeah, this is a good way to just use them for getting some unique loot from the black lion chest and also for getting them like just potentially getting a good chunk of money um if you saw what's in the black lion chest you'd see uh that you you have a chance at getting some really really rare items that are really really expensive uh it's a select few and i'm you know i'm not gonna say you're gonna get them right away because they're super freaking rare like they're like some of them are like the price of a legendary or two <laughs> for like one, like the most expensive items a permanent hairstyle contract or something like that. Like, and that thing's like 7,500 gold, something nuts. So, um, yeah, you can get that. I've never gotten it, but I have gotten some of those, uh, permanent gathering nodes from the chest, which like even the cheapest one is close to like, a hundred gold over a hundred gold, so you have a chance of getting those. So this is definitely a worthwhile thing to do each week. I've done the story enough to kind of figure out ways to just cut some time in some spaces. And towards the end of the video, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna outline all the tips so that way you don't have to run through unnecessary load screens because that's probably where you can uh, get killed on some time. Aside from actually running from star to star. Um, but yeah, this is something, just to give you a little background on it, I guess this used to not be limited to once a week, and it also used to not be limited to a level 10 character. People used to just be able to do this as much as they wanted, um, and as long as they had a character slot, they could just log on with a new character, run the story, and boom, you have a key. Uh, but now, then they made it so you had to be level 10, and also, um, so you had to, you're not so you had to, but you could only do it once per week, um, which really limited the amount of rewards that came from these, uh, from the Black Lion chest, which is, you know, honestly a good thing, because, like, Weapon skins would not be the price that they are today if that was still possible. And the weapon skins are actually, like, brand new weapon skins are already fairly cheap with how easy it is to get money. Um, so, yeah, so this really isn't something that I don't want to say you can't wear out. Um, it, I mean, I, I forget to do it quite a bit, which I shouldn't, because this is probably one of the better things that you can do for... A high chance of money um say so, and it and it's really it's i don't know like once you get the paths down you can do it like like i'm really just zipping through this thing right now i'm like running past a lot of crap like i'm not really worried about <laughs> like hitting every little thing making sure i listen to the story and all that stuff i just know this thing like this thing's just become like a little grind to me um and it takes me about 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes or something like that hopefully closer to 20 and I think while I was making this video like you can see I'm kind of pausing at all these points because you know this is where I, <laughs> I was like talking in the video and that's why my mouse is going everywhere but like the audio just misaligned and it uh, it was just a pain to like try and realign it because for some reason the footage would just like speed up and slow down in random spots and I'd play it back, and it was at the same spots every single time. So it's like, I, it was, I don't know. It's its a problem I'm going to look into. Um, but yeah, if you saw a little bit further back, when I hit level 11 after the second story, um, right now I'm about to start the fourth. Um, so I'm a little bit behind on that. But this is just kind of some extra info. I hit level 11. Um, so... If you boosted up to level 10 when you first made your character and you were still in the initial uh, mission where you had to go fight the like elemental hands and all that stuff, then you're probably going to be level 10. You'll probably be level, uh, well, not level 10, level 12. And then by the end of this, you'll probably get to level 13, I think it is. Um, but what I did is I used my tomes after I finished. 
So even though I have a like a big surplus of tomes, I tend to eat tomes quicker doing this than I do earning them. So I, I use them more quicker than I actually earn them. Um, so I just try and save a tome where I can because then that just means more key farming characters. Uh, if I like slip up one week and I just don't do PvP or I just don't get any tomes during the week or I forget to log in, or, well, forget to log in, like if I just choose not to log in or something like that. So saving tomes where I can. Uh, so I just wait till after that mission and get that free level from that mission. Uh, that way I only have to use eight tomes. Um, but yeah, uh, when I hit level 11, I went ahead and I got, this is one reason why I like Rev, because I like the dwarf stance, um, hammers, vengeful hammers, that's a good, like, AOE cleave, like, it hits 360 degrees around you, so it's a really nice cleave. This is why I like Condi Rev, I just lay the field sideways, and then I just throw on those hammers, and it hits through their blocks and everything, because it's an unblockable attack, it's really cool. So, yeah, so pretty much at the end of this, this is when it's done. This is when I'm going to get my key. And then when I get my key, uh, that's that cutscene. I skip it because I know it. And then I get my key, get the loot, whatever. I accept it. And then here's what I do. I just salvage what I can. And I really try and clean up my inventory because I just get, like, so, like, if there's just something in my inventory and I go to delete my character... Like, even if it's something that you can't store, if it if my inventory is not blank, <laughs> then I just, I will double check myself, like, three times. So I'll, like, uh, that, I don't know, that didn't really make, like, six tuplet <laughs> check myself or whatever. I don't know, like, dude, I don't know, I'll just constantly, constantly, constantly check myself. So what I'm doing here is I will take all the gear off my character I will, like, equip the tools and all that stuff, or I'll just delete stuff that's not salvageable. I'll salvage that stuff, deposit the materials, sell the copper doubloon, or whatever. So pretty much all I'll have is pretty much a naked character, and then, like, the key and the, the 11 bags of loot. And what I do, I don't leave the instance, just because this is saving some extra time, just a little bit of time. So I'll open the bank after I accept the rewards, deposit the gear, deposit the chest, or not the chest, the key, and then I'll deposit the bags of loot, and then I will just, um, I'll log out from there, and I'll just delete my character, and that way the slot is full for next week. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the run, or the mission, I would say. Um, well, the story mode. Uh, that's really all there is to it. I mean, the level 10 story is not hard. Uh, it's you have a free character slot, might as well do it. Free key is a free key. Those things are 125 gems. Uh, this is guaranteed. I recommend doing it once a week. It's not too bad. If you're really just standing around for 20 minutes, one time a week, spend that 20 minutes not standing around and doing a key farm. Like, that would just... You could... You have a chance at reaping some huge stuff. Okay, so here are the tips that I have. Um, I really just have... It's really two. Um, the very first one is when you're and when you first get out of the uh, the um, the initial mission, and you use your tomes, you run back into the city to go start your first mission in the home district, which is Salma District. That's in the northeast part of the city. Um, instead of running north, like northeast around the circle, instead go straight and go through like the little like the like it's like upside down water almost it's like a it's like a portal door um you'll go through that and it'll bring you up to the upper city so pretty much just run straight down and then get that center waypoint in the upper city uh the reason why is the last two missions you can just teleport right there and you'll save yourself some time from running through the city going through some extra load screens that you don't need to go through and i just recommend uh doing that that'll just save you a few minutes uh this is a decent length the time and shaving off some minutes when you can is uh, it'll it'll really make the the uh, this a little less grindy so um, which brings me into my next tip and really my last tip is uh, just 
teleport when you can. Um, just teleport. Look on your map. Open your map and see where the green star is and teleport to the nearest waypoint. I feel like that's a given, but um, all this stuff's going to be happening either in Divinity's Reach or in Queensdale in just like the very like right outside the city. Like it's not going to venture too far and. Um, you can teleport to most of the waypoints. The only one that you really need to make sure you get is, in order to save time, is the one I just recommended in the upper city right next to Logan Thackeray's office. But um, that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope it helped clear s some things up for you guys. If you guys even um, had any questions about this, um, of course, there's many different ways to do this. You have five different races. You have nine different classes. You can go at it any way you want. This is just the way that I do it because I really don't want to spend too much time doing it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I post guides. I'm trying to post them every Monday, um, Eastern time, like in the morning. I don't have a specific time, but it's lately it's been around well, 12 p.m. EST, uh, something like that. So um, I can't think of the server time off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, so just... If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like it, if you dislike it, that's fine too. Let me know. Um, if you want me to cover any other guides, uh, I'd love to know what you have to say or what you may suggest. So I um, hope this helps, and uh, good luck on your key farm.